Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is April 28th, 2021, and um, my Corpius Sunfire that I started from seed started blooming. Now, um, I started these December 19th of 2020, and they started germinating December 23rd of 2020. So, um, these actually started blooming April the 16th. I waited till uh, they had a few more blooms open on them. So I can show you here what they look like. Now, this is a perennial. And uh, I'm gardening in Pennsylvania in Zone 5B. So, this is going to be a perennial for me. And they have beautiful blooms on them. This is definitely going to be a keeper for me. Um, I also grew the Sunfire which that one is not blooming yet. Um, it's growing, but um, it's not actually blooming yet. There's a damaged leaf there. I'm going to take that off. Let me see here. So um, the sunburst did actually set buds to bloom, which I just seen because I pulled the tag out. So um, this one bloomed a little bit later. Then the sunfire, but it is still going to be blooming um, and time to go out for next month. So uh, when this one here actually opens, I'll come back and I'll show you what this one here looks like. But um, the sunfire one, beautiful blooms. I love this red in it. Now to keep your corpius blooming, you do want to remove the spent blossoms, um, which I've done on these here. So there's two different ways you can do that. You can um, take it off right at the base right here. Or you can kind of cut the stem down some so you don't have these empty stems sticking up. And that's your uh, preference for how you want to do those. Now, um, when I select a spot for these to grow in, I want full sun and I want well-drained soil. I don't want them sitting in um, soggy soil. And, um, and uh, these will be transplanted out after the danger of frost has passed. Now, these are perennial but um, being that they're used to growing in the greenhouse and um, being that they're used to, you know, all the warmth in here, they're not used to the cold, they're not used to like the frost or anything like that, they don't have their root system established in the actual ground itself, I don't want to put them out until the danger of frost and freeze is gone. So when I transplant these, I'll come back with another video and I will show them to you. So um, this variety here so far from what I'm seeing seems to be a very heavy blooming variety and uh, like I said by taking off the spent blossoms it's going to keep it blooming a lot longer. You can see this one here has a lot of blooms coming on it. Um, this one here has quite a bit coming and uh, butterflies love these. Um, your flowers do last for longer than one day and uh, these are also great for attracting like the bees in your pollinators and different things. So um, you could even put these in like your garden, your vegetable garden, if uh, you had uh, space just for kind of your perennials to help draw the pollinators in. Now when I did these, I did these as plug plants and I used uh, the Jiffy peat pellets and I have videos on my channel for how I started them uh, when they were transplanted and you can check those out. And um, when I transplanted them, I just took the little peat pellet, transplanted the whole thing in so uh, there was no transplant shock like from a cell pack to uh, the four inch containers that they're in. So um, when I transplant these, I'm going to come back with another video and I'll show them to you. Now um, if you're growing these indoors, you do want to harden them off to the outdoor elements before you just transplant them. And I do have videos on my channel for how to do that. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll try to put a new video on. Also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. Bye.